Well, hello there, YouTube. On this beautiful 69 degree day. It actually feels kind of nippy out here. It feels a little colder than 69 degrees. But this is one of my favorite little spots. It's a staircase that goes to nowhere. This uh, patio used not to be covered. It was an open patio. There's a, a door here, or a, just a walkway up onto the patio here. Used to be a hot tub sitting right there. But uh, anyway, this is one of my favorite spots. I'm not sure where this camera, I might be pointing you in the air. I have no idea. This is my Hero 4 session. Anyway, I was about to, because it's nice out, I was going to take off for a ride, even though it's late. It's five, almost five after three. Um, I was going to try something different, something I've been putting off. Um, I had somebody send something to me to review, and I've yet to get around to do it. And this is what it is. The Sandmark. They make a, a series of uh, GoPro accessories. They have this awesome uh, pole and uh, a couple of... One of the things I think is really cool is this one bag. They've got the, you know, the, the cases like you can buy from other companies that with the little foam inserts for your GoPro stuff. But they got one that kind of unrolls like a an old toolkit out of a Ferrari or something, you know. And all your GoPro stuff packs in there and you roll the thing up. I think that's really cool for me for uh, packing stuff in uh, saddlebags on motorcycles. So that, I hope this won't even point at this. I really apologize if it's not my impromptu little review things here. But uh, anyway, that little wrap-up bag would be great for stuffing in saddlebags and uh, backpacks and stuff like that. Those formed cases are just too awkward to haul on motorcycles. Anyway, designed in California. Fits GoPro Hero cameras. Anyway, the nice people at Sandmark sent me this to uh, to give a try. And uh looks as if it's a very high quality. Uh oh. I don't wanna I cannot stand to tear up a box when I open it. It's just a thing. Let's see if we can get it to lift. There we are. stuck. What do we got here? Ooh, look at that. Oh, nice. It's a nice uh, telescoping. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's got a, like a, you can feel when it breaks into the loose setting. It's got like a little bump in it. Is that just the one or are they both? Nope, they both do it. Wow, that's like really high end. Uh, a lot of high end. Uh, wow, and it's metal. It's all metal. Seriously? Wow, that is way cool. I, mean, I can feel by the cold that is metal. Maybe what I'm saying is, you know, there's like this little spot where it's still locked, and you'll you'll feel a bump. See, it snugs down. But you can knock it loose, and it still stays snug until you break over this little barrier. I've seen some high-end high uh, camera tripods do the same thing. Yeah, see, you can take that initial bump, and it's still tight. It's the second one. That, I love it when they do that. How long is this thing? Oh, hell yeah. What's the length of this thing? I don't have my glasses. Uh, 40, 40 inches. Seven, 17 collapsed and 40 inches long. What I was thinking about doing is uh, riding around on the street glide today and giving this thing a shot. I've, I've never done it. I've seen plenty of guys do that with their, with their bikes. Oh, here we are. Yeah, there's their their active case. Those are really cool, especially, you know, for uh, traveling and stuff. And it looks like it's more of a soft bag than a hard bag. And they got a carbon grip. And this armor bag. This armor bag seems really cool to me. 
I love the idea of rolling that thing up. You can just kind of stuff those in areas a little better. Warning. Don't twist it on the other of the pole. Do not twist entirely as this will disassemble. Oh, so you can keep going and disassemble it. That's kind of cool little little thing there. And something was something's rattling. Uh, I see a hole with a bag at the bottom of it. Ooh, look at that. It even comes with a knob. Well, oh, some washers and a, even a nut. I think that thing uses a nut on it. Looks like it's threaded. Maybe that's for added security. But anyway, I... Hell, what I do with it? I brought out brought out my AMK 5000 that I reviewed some time back. I brought it out to give her a quick, quick try at this. See, I want it to go kind of forward. I should not be trying to do this without my oh, I got my glasses on my hanging off of me here. I thought I forgot them. <laughs> Maybe that's not threaded there. Yeah, it's definitely threaded, but it sticks out far enough that you could put that nut on it for added security. It's quite strong. The aluminum on the top takes quite a bit. Of course, this is the well, the little the handle's not as big on this as what a GoPro is. It looks like a GoPro, but it's different. I don't even remember how to turn this thing on. I think you push and hold. Yep. So what's a good angle for this thing? Hello there, YouTube. I got a little something something different to show you here just a second going down a road where there's no cars and I come up on a car but uh, anyway I just did that little review on the uh, little Sandmark uh, action gear GoPro pole and I uh, thought we'd give that thing a try and see, see what you think of it now I extended that thing out. I don't know if I can even get it out like I had it before. Can I do this without hitting anything? Yeah, there we go. How about that? There's a view of me going down the road. And hopefully I don't have it at an angle where you... where you're actually uh, seeing the pole. I've, I haven't tried this thing out at all, so I have no idea. So I'm going to flip you over and let you see the bike while we're going down the road and see what you think of that. <laughs> I got a truck passing by. I'm the biggest chicken with this stuff. I mean, I'm really a chicken. I'm so, I'm so nervous somebody's going to see me doing something stupid, you know. So here's here's an upside down view of me going down the road. I'm sorry it's moving around so much, but uh, there's a lot of wind resistance on this thing. Okay, flipping you back. There's a lot of wind resistance on this pole. But here we are, driving down the road on the old old glide and with the uh, this uh, Sandmark action gear pole see what you guys think of all that and I got another car coming up behind me so I'm gonna pull over and stop here right quick but um, yeah anyway Sandmark action gear I'll put a uh, link to their website below and um, so you guys can and check this stuff out. I um, when they first contacted me, I gave them my uh, or he had a link, you know, as they do, 
I'll give you a link to, I guess, show you they're not full of BS or whatever. But anyway, I was checking their stuff out online and uh, said, sure, I'd be very interested in doing a review, a review and trying these things out. And, and uh, gave them my mailing address and here it is. Um, I've actually had it for a bit here, so they probably think I forgot about them, but I'm behind on everything. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll give this thing a try, and, and we'll talk about it. I, I I don't get any endorsement out of this thing. This is just something, you know, could lead to something. Who knows? But I'm not the best reviewer of things, as you can see. I'm very uh, um, kind of rough and raw, kind of like a sportster motorcycle with my reviews. <laughs> but I just I do it the way I do it. And uh, that's pretty handy. Uh, I like this idea too. That you can uh, have to try this out. Oh, kind of hard to do two-handed though, isn't it? There you go. There you go. You can strap that thing on. So if something goes haywire, I can uh, grab my clutch and let this beat around my gas tank for a little bit. But at least if I... Uh, if I drop it, <laughs> it's not going to hit the ground. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll do two things here. We'll we'll do another little thing on the AMCOV, I think you pronounce it, the AMK 5000. But uh, we'll use that as the camera while we try out the Sandmark Action Gear Pole. That thing is crazy high quality. Jeez, you know I don't think I looked at the price of it. If I remember right, the price was very reasonable. That's some serious quality for for a uh, GoPro pole. But yeah, we'll give her a shot. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Next, you'll see me humming down the road on my motorcycle. Maybe I'll just use this as a review and just uh, kind of take segments out of that video, or who knows? You know how I am. I just fly by the cuff. Whatever happens, happens. I uh, didn't even plan this thing out. I thought, well, let's just throw the Hero 4 session on and I'll sit out back and do a quick little talk about it and then we'll take off on the motorcycle. And that's what we're going to do. So thanks for watching. Sandmark Action Gear. We'll see ya. Bye-bye now.